Hello again everybody, it's me, it's Ted, it's another episode of Blunt Ted Talks. Now first of all, thank you very much for clicking on the video, and secondly, thank you very much for all the new subscribers, and if you're not subscribed already, then please consider hitting that button, as we just hit 420, and the next target's 450, so yeah, let's just see if we can get there. Um, also drop a like on the video, drop a comment as well, because it all helps with the algorithm. I'll leave a link in the description as well, I've just started a second channel, if you've not seen that already, then please, please, please pop over there and give that a subscribe as well. It's non-sport, the first video is Banksy. Okay, so uh, yeah, to get into this one, this one's um, some news at break on the, it was the Shields Gazette and it was by Liam Kennedy. And basically it's a letter that's gone through to the Premier League, which has come from a couple of fans from the Newcastle Consortium Supporters Limited. And they just want to know what's going on. They want to know why the takeover was refused. And it's looking like if the Premier League can't give an answer to that and they can't make it public, then it, it may just go to court. Um, now, if it does go to court, then the Premier League aren't going to like that because a lot of the stuff that's been going on behind the scenes is going to have to go public. Any corruption that's been going on is going to have to go public. Obviously, we know this stuff with Qatar. Um, you know, we might not know exactly, but it's all to do with like football rights and uh, TV rights and stuff like that. And you know all the you know all the um, pirating, all the piracy channels and all that. All right, it was a slight issue, but it was resolved very quickly. So that was not the real reason why the takeover didn't get through. It would, that was just kind of using an excuse, really. Um, okay, so this letter has actually been backed by, um, although you know, not money-wise, it's not looking like. Uh, I don't think it's been funded by Mike Ashley, but it does look like Mike Ashley has seen it. His QC has seen it. Um, I think Jamie Rubin's seen it as well, so, um, you know, it does have the backing of the right people and, you know, the right people are retweeting it and liking it and stuff, so it, it's looking like, not saying Ant and Deck, by the way, they're not the right people, they're not involved, um, but the rest of them are. Um, so yeah, what does this letter say then? Okay, so um, I'll put this up on the screen as well for you so you can, so you can actually read it, but... Um, yeah, the letter actually says, To this end, we have worked with one of the UK's very top QCs in sport and competition law in Robert O'Donoghue QC, and we believe that only a fans group will see this result within an acceptable short period of time. Our plan is to seek maximum expedition of our case before a specialist competition law court, the Competition Appeal Tribunal, in brackets CAT. The CAT is a specialist judicial body with cross-disciplinary expertise in law, which hears and decides cases involving competition, regularity issues, regulatory issues. We have asked the EPL and its members to cooperate in expediting this case due to the urgency involved. The CAT is willing to deal with urgent cases very quickly, which results in a handful of months. We also very much hope that the UK courts will appreciate the urgency of hearing a case very much in the public's interest where ordinary members of the UK public are taking on the wealth and the might of the EPL and its members and others. This impacts football fans across our country and the globe, not just Newcastle fans. We therefore await the EPL's response as to how they will either face up to their, this action if they have nothing to hide or whether they will seek to delay and obfuscate. So uh, yeah, that's the letter. So. Um, what do you make of that? What do you, what do you think? You know, is it going to turn to anything? Obviously, as I said, it's been backed by the right people. Um, it's getting some interest in the media as well, because uh, as I said, Anton Deck retweeted it out. I think the, um, Jamie Rubin, I think he retweeted it out. And I think Amanda Stavely's husband, I think he may have been the other one that retweeted it out. So it is getting the attention that you know it needs. Also, Willany, strangely, like he popped up and retweeted it today. I noticed he didn't actually retweet retweet the petition a while ago. Um, thought he might have done. You know, it could have picked up a few numbers. But how well he's you know he's, he's retweeted this today. So it's still a Newcastle fan, it seems. Um, so yeah, like that's that's the news. Is it going to lead to anything? Nah, I, I don't want everybody to get their hopes up and think right, bang, this is it. Nah, this is it. It's going through because it might not necessarily lead to that. Ultimately, if Richard Masters decides that he doesn't want Newcastle to be taken over by the Saudis, he still can say no. You know, if he can find, because I'm pretty sure as much as Mike Ashley is working with his lawyers, I'm pretty sure Richard Masters and the Premier League are doing exactly the same and trying to find a way to get out of it and a way to not have this takeover go through. So um, yeah, it's not, it's not nailed on that this is gonna happen still, in my opinion. The signs are good, 
Um, but the signs that are good basically just point to the fact that people that need to be at the table still are at the table. But as I said, it can still go either way. So um, yeah, it's just try not to get too excited because we've been here before. You know, we've been here before. Everybody, you know, that's it. Cans, get the cans out of the fridge, blah, blah, blah. And you know, this might go through. But at the same time, I don't want people to go through that same disappointment that we felt, you know, all those weeks ago when, you know, it came out that it had been rejected, you know, and the siders have walked away. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the video. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Um, please leave me a like as well. Um, if, as I said, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit subscribe and go and find my second channel um, and subscribe to that one as well. Basically, it all just helps with the algorithm when people are subscribed and people like and comment. It does help me out a lot and it allows the video to travel a little bit further. So, um, yeah, that's it. It's been me, Blunt Ted. It's been another episode of Blunt Ted Talks. Thank you very much for watching or listening, should I say, because you can't see my face today. So, um, yeah, thank you very much. Peace.